Hello guys, Autotalent here, and I just wanted to give you a quick tip today to solve one of those little annoyances about Windows 8 that you might see. Now I'm sure that most people you know, that I talk to are like, oh, why would you use Windows 8? You know, that's so terrible. But really, I mean, it has a start menu. You see, there's a start menu. I mean, it's just pretty much like regular Windows. I mean, any other version, I don't really see what the huge problem with it is. But there are a few annoyances, and that's what I wanted to address in this video series. Um, the first one that I wanted to go over today is... Um, you can't add programs to startup like you normally would. I mean, usually, for instance, if you say hit control delete, go to task manager, and this would be the same startup that would be, you know, if you typed msconfig. I mean, normally things add to here and you can start them. A lot of things that you would want to add yourself, like say, well, I would like SpeedFan to start or, you know, um, direct 3D overrider, you know, if you'd like that to start automatically. That doesn't always work. And I got it to work finally, at least this program, but I had other ones that I couldn't start. And you can't just add them to the startup folder. They don't work because, you know, they require elevation and there's all kinds of weird reasons. But there is a really easy workaround for that, and I kind of wanted to go over that here. So let me go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. First, you want to, you know, go to start and type uh, schedule. And it'll say schedule task. That just opens a task scheduler. I mean, I'm sure if you type the name of the task scheduler exe, that would work as well. But this is the easiest way. And what you can do is you can go in here. I, I noticed there are ones that I didn't put in here that were already here. For instance, this one and this one and this one I didn't put there myself. But what you are able to do is just add any new ones that you would like. So say, you know, you go to create basic task. And it'll open up the thing and you can just type um, test. And we'll just do an example here. And when you, when you want the task to start, you want to choose when you log on. Because if you choose when the computer starts, it'll give you an error saying that the requested user isn't found. Now, I'm sure it would work if you open it under system, but I don't really see any reason to do that. This way works just fine. Then you hit, hit start a program and you click browse. And you just find the program you want, for instance. Well, just for example, we'll pick SpeedFan again. So you, you know, SpeedFan. Then it'll ask if you want to open the properties. You want to click Yes. So you hit Finish. And it'll bring up your properties here. Now, the one thing you want to keep in mind is if the program requires administrator privileges, make sure you click Run with Highest Privileges. Otherwise, that will give you an error when the program starts that's saying this requires elevation right here in this last run result portion. So once you do that, it'll basically be able to start the program once the computer boots up just like normal. And you can add anything that way as well, like any other program. So if the program itself doesn't have the ability to run on startup, then you would be able to do it that way. Well, I hope that was helpful and um, hopefully very soon I'll come out with another one for you to kind of help you get settled into Windows 8. I know it's kind of a hard thing for people to adopt something new but I really think that you know the performance improvements and how fast it starts are worth the switch thank you